All you will need for today's craft are some markers, a pair of scissors, a piece of construction paper, and your hands and feet. Hello, bonjour, and tense everyone. My name is Pearl and welcome back to another virtual Sunday school. Today, we are going to be talking a little bit about Jesus and some of his friends. So, one day, Jesus gathered around all of his friends. He called them all together and he said, there is so much work to do. I need your help. I want you to travel to the villages and tell the people about God's love. Jesus's friends looked surprised. What is Jesus asking us to do? They asked, what villages will we go to? What should we say? What if people won't listen to us? Jesus's friends had a lot of questions. Jesus smiled. Don't worry, he said. I will help you choose the words to say. One of Jesus's friends brought out his backpack and said, okay, I'm ready. I've got everything that I need. Jesus laughed. <laughs> Actually, he said, you won't need to take anything. You won't need extra clothes. You don't need to take a snack. You won't need any money and you won't even need to take a bag. All you will need to take is a walking stick, the clothes that you are wearing, and the sandals on your feet. Jesus' friends stood up. They were ready to do as Jesus asked. Wait, Jesus said, I have one more thing to say. When you travel to the towns and villages, I think you should go two by two. When you arrive in the villages, stay in the homes of the people who welcome you. Eat dinner with those who invite you to dinner. Talk with those who will listen. If you are in a town where people don't wanna listen and don't welcome you, then leave, move on. So that is what Jesus's friends did. They traveled from town to town, from village to village. Each person traveled with a friend and they all took with them their walking sticks, the clothes they were wearing and the sandals on their feet. And they told everyone who would listen about God's wonderful love. I like that story a lot. What do you think your favorite part was? I think my favorite part might have been when Jesus told them, no, you don't need backpacks. You don't need, you don't even need a snack. You just need a walking stick and clothes and sandals on your feet. Do you think they got tired walking all that way? Walking from village to village and town to town and just sandals? I bet they got a little bit tired. Luckily, they met a lot of nice people who helped them on their way. Hmm. All that walking gives me a good idea for a craft. Should we go to the craft corner? I think we should, let's go. The first part of our craft happens on the floor because we are going to take our construction paper and a marker and we are going to trace our feet. That's kind of a silly first step, but I am going to show you a little bit of how to do it. So you're going to put your construction paper on the ground in front of you and balancing on one knee, you can take your foot and put it on the piece of paper. Now my foot is a little bit big and it's almost as big as the whole piece of paper, but your feet will probably be a bit smaller. And using the marker we have, we are going to trace. And now that we have traced our foot, we are going to go back up to the table. All right, now that you have a traced picture of your foot, you are going to cut it out using our trusty scissors. Let's do that now. And now you should have your foot fully cut out and it's gonna be a little bit funny looking. A little, some might be bigger than the rest. My foot is pretty big and it's a little bit odd shaped, but that's okay because we're all different and unique. And now you can take the rest of your markers 
and we are going to write on this foot something that you like to do to show God's love. So Jesus's friends went to town, to town and village to village talking about God's love and they were walking and walking and walking. And you might not go from town to town and village to village, but you do little everyday things like maybe you help your parents do the dishes or maybe you push your friends on the swing or maybe you pet your dog. Anything that you do that helps to show God's love, we are going to write on the feet. And I am going to use a whole bunch of different colors of markers, but you can use your favorite color or a color that you like that day. So let's write. wrote on my little foot here, I help my sister with her homework. And that's something I like to do to show a little bit of God's love every day. And we can spread that to the world. So after you're done writing on your foot, we can stop there and we can be done there. Or you could decorate it a little bit. And I like decorating it a little bit because you all know that I love decorating things. So let's maybe with some markers and maybe if you have glitter and glue like I do, you can decorate it a little bit, maybe paint the toenails. <laughs> so let's do a little bit of decorating and we'll come right back. And there we go. We have our wonderful foot with some sparkly painted toenails and it has some words showing how I show God's love. That was a wonderful craft. I had so much fun with you all today reading a story and doing this lovely little craft. And the best part is that you can hang this up on the wall or on the fridge or you could even tie a string to it and hang it from your ceiling or something. So there are endless possibilities with this one, but it'll always help you remember ways to show God's love. And you can do it with both feet or just one. Thank you so much for doing this craft with me. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember, God loves you very much and you should love yourself too. Bye everyone.